like working with uh, that in a sense like a painting goes beyond the edges that you can um, experience painting beyond just uh, what happens with your eyes. Uh, let's say you would paint a sky, a sky is not necessarily only blue. There's like a, a multitude of colors in the sky. So it's like really important to kind of keep an open mind to that. And that's the, the element of spirituality where you can be, become more um, aware, let's say, and open to all those different aspects of how one can view a sky or a tone of, of anything in life in that matter. And it helps me a lot with mixing my paints and also to transcend constantly uh, question myself to go beyond the image of your, what you're painting. So when I start a painting, it's much more, um, literally first, the, the first layers are with gesso and, and um, uh, water-based paints and I really enjoy that process because it's almost like a much more uh, free and playful and it can go in many different layers because I never just use the plain color from a tube but always mixing things and you can experiment and lately that experimentation has gone uh, even more extreme with like different patterns or, or different printing techniques and I even use a, a, a spray gun. I try and do all those things and then eventually I have several ones and then I decide in relation to the photograph that I have chosen to paint which atmosphere would suit the best to the ground that I've painted and from there I add slight bits of oil paint in order to create the whole painting or to finish the painting let's say because I like that the, the background in the painting merges with the subject matters. If you zoom in, there's all these different uh, textures and different kind of mark making on, on, on all these different uh, elements in the painting. But initially it just seems like this one plane or very slow uh, movement. And then I take a lot of pictures and they're almost daily images that everybody takes. Then I transform those into painting. They're more like a reference to how one, uh, you know, almost like within meditation, you can focus on a breath in order to kind of get somewhere or actually become in a different uh, state of mind and I use the photographs in a similar way. They're almost like a reference to kind of understand who or what or which environment I'm painting. In a sense a painting is like so magical because it's a two-dimensional plane but when you look at it after a while you realize it's, it could be a space that you're entering. So my work also comments on this. Similar to walking into a dark room, you first think, oh, where am I? Or what am I actually noticing here? Are these canvases empty? Uh, is this about painting? But you become very slowly aware of the whole space and your own sensory system and your own sense of being in the world as well. How do you look at things? How do you observe? <laughs> 